Hey guys, it's Simply Imaginary People, and this is just an update to my tutorial video on previewing skins in Blender and other stuff. So I'm just going to open Blender, and just going to first of all import the total face and import the total scalp object. And then I'm going to press five and one on my numpad. And then I've got a nice view. Now what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this world thing here. And I'm going to put on ambient occlusion, environmental lighting, and indirect lighting. And then I'm going to switch from the top, from blender render to cycles render. I'm going to right click on the face so it's selected. And go here to the materials tab. Press new. And here under color, press the dot. And open image texture. And then I'm just going to load one. And if I go here at the bottom from solid to material, I'll be able to see it. I'm going to do the same with the scalp. New image open and pick a scalp. Right, now that already looks pretty good, but now if I go from material to rendered, it's going to properly render it for me. It's going to take a while till it gets to 32 and then it'll be done. But yeah, now I've got a nice 3D picture. Now the same also works. I'm just going to start Photoshop while I'm doing this. Right, the same also works for objects. So I'm just going to import. Stops being annoying. There you go. Import an object. So. This is the crib I just made, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to right click and go to New Image Open, and this time I'm going to open a PSD file, so a Photoshop file. And you'll see again if I go to Materials and then to Render, and I get a super nice picture of it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that same file. In Photoshop. You can see maybe I'm editing my textures or I'm adding tattoos to a skin and I'm working in Photoshop. I'm just going to change it a bit and then I'm just going to press save like you would do. And then go back to Blender and then I'm just going to go to Material and then I'm going to go to Rendered again and voila! You'll see that without me changing the texture it has updated what is in the Photoshop. So if you update the Photoshop file it'll automatically update the, not the Material one, but the Rendered. And in this way, it's super easy if you're adding tattoos to a skin to just press save in Photoshop and just straight away see it without having to save it as an image file or something. So yeah, that was pretty much it. That's just a quick way to preview textures.